briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case stirring interest among corporate law practitioners, the Delaware Supreme Court ventured into examining the intricacies of stock issuance in the matter of Wagoner v. Star Surgical Company. Back in 1991, the dispute centered around 2 million common stocks, their ownership and voting rights, which were claimed by Thomas and Patricia Wagoner, the former president and CEO of Star Surgical Company. Initially, the Court of Chancery ruled in favor of the Wagoners. The court noted that, though the common stocks were linked to invalid preferred shares, the Wagoners should still retain their rights based on equity, a decision spurred by the fact that Wagoner had personally guaranteed Star's debts. However, the stage was set for controversy when Star Surgical's board of directors got embroiled in an oversight. They had authorized the creation of convertible preferred stock without formally adopting a resolution. Adding to the irregularity was the fact that only Tom Wagoner had signed the minutes. On appeal, the Delaware Supreme Court presented a contrary position. Dismissing the Court of Chancery's award of equitable relief as baseless, it emphasized that the invalidity of the preferred shares voided its associated common shares. Moreover, it shut down the Wagoner's attempt to apply the equitable doctrine of estoppel for validation, stating such an approach couldn't justify a legally void act. Reiterating the need for adherence to the rules set out in a company's certificate of incorporation during stock issuance, the Supreme Court's verdict rendered the common stock issued by Star Surgical Void. Highlighting the principle of strict construction in corporate law, the case served as a stern reminder of the stringent legal requirements concerning stock issuance. The judgment of the Court of Chancery was reversed, marking a landmark ruling in corporate jurisprudence. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.